Good afternoon. On behalf of our host, Lieutenant General Scott A. Spellman, the 55th Chief of Engineers and Commanding General of USACE, I'd like to welcome you to today's 2022 U.S. Army Corps of Engineers National Award Ceremony. We'd also like to welcome our 14th Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Patrick Patterson to Saint, and Major General Kim Colleton, Deputy Commanding General, Military and International Programs. We'd also like to acknowledge other USACE, senior USACE leaders in the room and also with us, joining us virtually. Today, we honor the extraordinary talent of our USACE family and the dedication and commitment of all our teammates and the remarkable contributions. This award, the awards presented at this ceremony are a snapshot of the outstanding award winners across USACE this year. The accomplishments, the accomplishments of these individuals have contributed greatly to the USACE mission. At this time, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Please be seated. At this time, I'd like to invite the Commanding General, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Lieutenant General Spellman to the podium. All right, thank you, Little Chief. And Happy New Year, everyone. I um, was just thinking on the way down the hall, I cannot think of a better way to start 2023 than having the opportunity to recognize some of our very best talent across the enterprise. So thanks everyone for being here today. And I always like to start by thanking the folks that put these events together. As you can see, there's always a, a like a, a reinforced squad or a small platoon behind the microphones, behind the cameras, making all this happen. So, so many thanks to the team. And special thanks to Miss Jen Fulmer, Jen Wary. Right, Jen, we got something for you here in a little bit. So thanks to Jen and thanks to the best protocol officer in the United States Army, Miss Karen Whippy, who helped lead the way on this uh, this effort. So again, I'm humbled to be here today uh, for everyone that's here in person, and we regret that we could not get everyone in today for the ceremony, but it's great to be with you. So think about it. Last year, from advances in research and development to our massive civil works, military construction program, and all that we have done in for our interagency partners, we really are here to celebrate a year of success across the enterprise. And I know we say this all the time, if there was every year where we had a historic program, it was last year. I, I know we say that every year. It's just every year it gets more historic as we uh, as we go on. And if you look at some of the challenges that the country is facing, I mean, look what's ongoing. I just got done before I walked down here updating the chief, John McConville, and the secretary on what's ongoing out in uh, California, what we're doing with our dams, our releases, and the work with FEMA, where we're getting some mission assignments there. So it's our disaster response, our construction mission, our environmental mission, huge, huge successes in 2022. Um, we also led the way on delivering a number of strategic projects across, across the globe. Think about it, we did a hospital last year in Laos. Sounds like a relatively small project. It was financially, but a huge impact on the, uh, the community there. We did work in Africa, certainly the ongoing work in Poland and Europe, given the ongoing crisis in, in Ukraine, just immeasurable accomplishments. So before we transition to the formal ceremony, uh, we're gonna have some virtual award recipients today and, and, and many of you are, are here in the room. I wanna just take a moment and thank uh, our supervisors and our leaders out there who took the time to put these great teammates in for these awards. You know, we, we say it costs nothing and we, I know it costs time and a little bit of preparation, but one of the most important things we do as leaders is we say thank you to, to folks that excel. So a special thanks to the leaders and supervisors across the enterprise that took the time to recognize this amazing 
talent that we have. And I look forward to celebrating our award winners. Now I'm going to bring up the Command Sergeant Major and Little Chief. I'm going to bring you back up here. Let's make these official. Ladies and gentlemen, we begin this ceremony with Lieutenant General Elvin R. Vald Heiberg III Engineer of the Year Award. This award recognizes the most outstanding engineer across the command. The USACE Engineer of the Year Award is presented to Mr. Rick Poppelman. <laughs> throughout his tenure, Mr. Poppelman has provided superior leadership, ensuring technically sound project delivery throughout South Pacific Division. He spearheaded the largest regional workload in 30 years, consisting of complex civil works, military department of veterans affairs, and international interagency support programs. His leadership fostered a culture of problem solving through leveraging technical tools and solutions. He challenged the PDT to identify significant cost reductions and alternative approaches while also serving as a mentor and leader to countless new and senior engineers. His efforts reflect great credit on him, the South Pacific Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Next is the Hard Hat of the Year Award. This award is given to the most outstanding construction field office employee who demonstrates construction quality management successes, contributions, and innovations. The USA's Hard Hat of the Year Award is presented virtually to Mr. Dwayne Bullock. Mr. Bullock is recognized for his efforts in an un unwatering Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana. Mr. Bullock walk worked long hours in hazardous conditions, documenting contractor actions and providing daily updates on water levels, which were used to make future decisions on recovery efforts. Mr. Bullock's initiatives and diligence are a testament to the dedication he exhibits in the work he performs and reflects great credit on him, the New Orleans District, the Mississippi Valley Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Each year, the program, the program and project management community of practice recognizes a project delivery team that has made outstanding contributions to the USAIS mission, a team which has demonstrated results-driven and measurable achievements in the areas of programmatic and project goals, quality, cost, risk, schedule, and stakeholder management. The 2022 U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Project Delivery Team of the Year Excellence Award is presented to the Red River of the North Fargo-Moorhead Metro Flood Risk Management Project Delivery Team. On behalf of the PDT, Colonel Eric Swenson, Kevin Wilson, Terry Williams, Kevin Den, and Elliot Stefanik will accept this award. The Red River of the North Fargo-Moorhead Metro Flood Project is recognized for their commitment to the innovation and mission accomplishment and their dedication to delivering superior quality in this important $2.75 billion program. Their efforts reflect great credit on them, the St. Paul District, the Mississippi Valley Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The program and project management community of practice also recognizes an individual who has made outstanding contributions to USACE and has distinguished them th themselves through professional excellence, achievement, and overall superior performance in project management. The USACE 2022 Project Manager of the Year Award is presented to Ms. Janelle Kim. Ms. Kim is recognized for her exceptional outstanding leader as a project manager. She is responsible for leading program execution for the U.S. Army Garrison Hawaii Department of Public Works reimbursable program and for managing key projects for the Honolulu District's important military stakeholder, U.S. Army Hawaii. Her efforts reflect great credit upon her, the Honolulu District, the Pacific Ocean Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Chief of Engineers Safety Award of Excellence is presented each fiscal year by the Chief of Engineers to recognize one USACE MSC and one district that has demonstrated the highest degree of excellence in the management of safety and occupational health. 
and excellence in team members' performance toward meeting program goals. The Chief of Engineers Safety Award of Excellence District category is presented virtually to the Far East District for application and execution of the Corps of Engineers Safety and Occupational Health Management System. The Far East District's dedication to mission accomplishment in a challenging forward deployed and COVID-19 restricted environment was apparent as all missions were accomplished with an industry enviable safety record. Their ability to complete tasks and keep their workforce safe was exceptional and reflects great credit on them, the Far East District, the Pacific Ocean Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Chief of Engineer Safety Award of Excellence Division category is presented virtually to the Pacific Ocean Division for their outstanding efforts in the prevention of accidents and illness, the division's commitment to safety as demonstrated by their accident illness and illness injury rates was outstanding. Their commitment and dedication to safety while performing mission assignments reflect great credit on the employees, the Pacific Ocean Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Operations and Maintenance Castle Award recognizes one employee has demonstrated exemplary work in the field of operations and maintenance in support of core infrastructure. This year's Operation Maintenance Castle Award is presented to Mr. Brad Johnson. Mr. Johnson's exceptional performance, commitment to safety, and strong leadership as a lock and dam equipment mechanic leader in the Tulsa district inspires and boosts the morale of his coworkers daily. He serves as a role model for his team and continually exemplifies the Army values. His efforts reflect great credit on him, the Tulsa district, the Southwestern Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The, installation, the USA's Installation Support Professional of the Year Award is presented to an individual who provided exceptional support to military installations within their area of responsibility. This year's Installation Support Professional of the Year is awarded to Mr. Daniel Gilstrap. Mr. Gilstrap is the installation support branch manager, program manager responsible for managing over 100 projects valued at over $230 million at military installations throughout the Republic of Korea. His customer base comprises all four service components and other agencies, including the Defense Commissary Agency and the Defense Logistics Agency. His exceptional dedication and support to his installations reflect great credit on him, the Far East District, the Pacific Ocean Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The USA's Installation Stakeholder Professional of the Year is presented to an individual military installation stakeholder who demonstrates outstanding commitment to their installation. This year's Installation Stakeholder Professional of the Year is presented to Mr. Robert Davey. <laughs> Mr. Robert Davey is with Joint Mission Munitions Command, Rep Rayford Army Ammunition Plant. Mr. Davey is responsible for ensuring the operation of 7,000 acre Radford Army Ammunition Plant to ensure they meet the readiness needs of the U.S. Army and the Department of Defense. Mr. Davey's knowledge of the plant, its process, and people is evident as he walks the plant. He knows everyone, contractor, or government employee, understands the risks associated with each of their tasks, and continually seeks solutions to reduce those risks and keep production as efficient as possible. Mr. Davey's leadership and dedication reflects great credit on him and the Department of the Army. Our next award is the USA's Planning Excellence Award Enterprise Category, also called the Planner of the Year Award. This award recognizes contributions to advancing the practices of water resources planning. This year's Planning Excellence Award Enterprise Category is presented to Ms. Stacy Roth. In 
In 2021, Ms. Roth successfully navigated her team through the San Juan Metro Feasibility Study in Puerto Rico. This was Jacksonville District's first ever back bay study and presented significant challenges in availability of data, terrain, and topography, as well as managing a complex cumulative water budget. Ms. Roth set the, the national standard for delivering quality projects and creating new ways to communicate. Her leadership and dedication reflect great credit on her, the Jacksonville District, the South Atlantic Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The USA's Public Affairs Officer of the Year is the highest award offered within the public affairs community. It's presented to one public affairs practitioner for exceptional individual achievement and recognition of contributions to the public affairs program through strategic communication planning, as well as developing and delivering effective public information, command information, and community relations initiatives and or products. This year's Public Affairs Officer of the Year is presented virtually to Mr. Matthew Rowe. Mr. Rowe created creatively applied best practices while managing the communication efforts for six flood risk management studies, leading the New Orleans district's media campaign and serving as the public affairs liaison to the district's emergency management team during two emergency operations. His contributions and dedication reflect great credit on him, the New Orleans district, the Mississippi Valley division and the U S army Corps of engineers. And he, and he did it without cats. Indeed, without cats. Without cats. Where are they? Sans cats. USACE recognizes the significant achievements and contributions of our contracting workforce for their exceptional commitment and service. The nominees for Manager of the Year were evaluated based on this problem-solving initiatives, demonstrated leadership, contracting expertise, and professional development. This year's USACE Contracting Manager of the Year Award is presented, is presented virtually to Ms. Ginger Gruber. Ms. Gruber's leadership and dedication to excellence was most notable in her outstanding accomplishments as the District Chief of Contracting for Omaha District, managing critical contracting execution in support of the district's $1.3 billion program. Ms. Gruber's accomplishments reflect great credit upon her, the Omaha District, the Northwestern Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Research of the Year Award recognizes an outstanding scientist or engineer whose work has advanced the state of an art in a particular field, established a scientific basis for subsequent technical improvements in military or civil operational capabilities, and or materially improved USACE technical capability. This year, the award is presented to Dr. Benjamin Trump, U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center. Dr. Trump led research in vaccine equity and distribution, COVID-19 epidemiology and impact, crisis and resilience modeling, and general COVID-19 related support to multiple state governments, federal agencies, the U.S. Army, and the White House. His efforts reflect great credit on him, the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The USACE Sustainability Hero Award recognizes an individual who has demonstrated outstanding performance in leading sustainability initiatives through innovative strategies, practices, and outreach. This year's award is presented virtually to Mr. Alan Earhart. Mr. Alan Earhart is a national resource specialist who uses innovative methods to improve energy and water efficiency at Carter's Lake. He adopted new technologies such as electric vehicles, recyclable green flush bathrooms, and HVAC mini splits with UV filtration, as well as championing the installation of solar and high hardwired automated fee machines at recreation areas. His efforts reflect great credit on him, the Mobile District, the South Atlantic Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Natural Resources Management Hiram M. Chittenden Interpreter of the Year Award recognizes 
Outstanding contributions in interpretive and environmental education by a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer employee in a district or field office. This year's award is presented to Miss Viola Bromel. She is recognized for her outstanding efforts and achievements in the area of interpretive programs and outreach services. Ms. Bramell's enthusiasm for creating interpretive programs and interpretive opportunities is unmatched. She is unflagging in her resolve to offer her time and knowledge to those wishing to learn about the environment and experience the outdoors firsthand. Her energy and enthusiasm are a testament to the Corps' tradition of excellence and reflect great credit on her, the New England District, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Don Lawler Award for Regulator of the Year is, was instituted in 1984 and recognizes superior achievements by a non-supervisory division or district employee and their contributions to maintaining the integrity of the regulatory program. This year's awardee is presented to Mr. Justin Elkins. Mr. Elkins' role in the development of several key national priorities to include the Mitigation Rule Amendment, 401 Rule, and National Regulatory Viewer will have profound impacts on our regulatory program. His dedication and exceptional service reflect great credit upon him, the Huntington District, the Great Lakes and Ohio River Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The George Wolf Kuntz Award for Attorney of the Year recognizes the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers attorney whose performance has been so exemplary over a period of a year or more that the title Outstanding of the Attorney of the Year is warranted. The award is named for Judge George Wolf Kuntz, the first legal advisor to the Chief of Engineers who served with distinction for in the Office of the Chief of Engineers for 60 years, 60 years, from 1886 to 1946. The award symbolizes a continuing tradition of extraordinary professional dedication and excellence established by Judge Kuntz, the father of USAID's legal services. This year, the George Wolf Kuntz Award is presented to Mr. Michael Goodman. <laughs> Mr. Goodman brought a much needed analytical data-driven and risk-based approach to the practices of contract litigation. His efforts reflect great credit on him, the Office of the Chief Counsel, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Our next award is the Critical Incident Stress Management Peer Supporter of the Year Award. The 2022 Critical Incident Stress Management Peer Supporter of the Year is presented to Miss Lori Polk. Her work to provide resilience, education, and available resources to deploying and returning Corps of Engineer employees resulted in many support and education opportunities for USAID's teammates. Her commitment to the critical incident stress management team resulted in increased level of support to employees' emotional health throughout their deployment and agency-wide during the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Her efforts reflect great credit on her, the Middle East District, the Transatlantic Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Our next award is the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Outstanding Logistician of the Year. The Outstanding Logistician of the Year is presented annually to one person in recognition of personal excellence in the overall management of log logistics resources. This year's Outstanding Logistician of the Year is, rewarded, is awarded to or presented to Mr. Sidney White. Here to accept the award on Mr. White's behalf is Mr. Ronald Richards.
As the logistics management specialist for the Southwestern Division, Mr. Wright, Mr. White right-sized the Southwestern Division's vehicle fleet and also developed an alternative fuel management tool to analyze the use of alternative fuel and identify GS vehicles and potential use of alternative fuels. His efforts reflect great credit on him, the Southwestern Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Our next award is the Cybersecurity Professional of the Year. This award recognizes excellence in, in support of cybersecurity. This year's Cybersecurity Professional of the Year Award is presented virtually, which is fitting, to Ms. Donna Lee. Ms. Lee served as a USACE Office of the Chief of Information Operations, G6, lead for the Department of Defense Inspector General Chief Financial Officer Audit in late 2021. Without any prior experience or transfer of knowledge, Ms. Lee utilized her dedication, initiative, and self-motivation to successfully acquire the necessary skills and information to carry out this mission. Ms. Lee's sound judgment, initiative, and high degree of professionalism ensure the successful execution of the audit and reflect great credit on her, the Office of the Chief Information Officer, G6, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The next award is the Lester Edelman Spirit of the Arrowhead Award for Legal Manager of the Year. This award recognizes USACE's legal manager who best exemplifies excellence and service to clients, excellence and leadership, and who has made significant contribution to the USACE legal community. The name of the award refers to the first worldwide legal services conference held at Lake Arrowhead, Georgia in 1984 by Mr. Lester Edelman, Chief Counsel from 1979 to 1998. This award celebrates and reaffirms that the spirit of the Arrowhead and its highest award conferred by the Chief Counsel. This year's award is presented virtually to Mr. David Dyer, Vicksburg District. Mr. Dyer led his office to assess in every litigated action that concluded during his tenure as Chief as District Counsel. His team encountered seven contract protest actions during his tenure and prevailed in all of them. The tempo of perfected Freedom of Information Act requests has increased nearly 200% since he became district council, and despite operating in a mostly telework environment, his office maintained an unblemished zero backlog record. Every year since he began his tenure in Vicksburg, the district has wrapped up its annual Office of Government Ethics 450 reporting in record time with zero delinquent reports. His efforts reflect great credit on him, the Vicksburg District, the Mississippi Valley Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Our last award of this afternoon is the pinnacle award of our national award ceremony. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Lieutenant General John W. Morris Civilian of the Year Award. This award annually recognizes USACE employee has made the most significant and noteworthy contributions to the mission, reputation, and prestige of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. At this time, I would ask Mr. Mora to join Lieutenant General Spellman and Command Sergeant Major Toussaint up front. This year's civilian award is presented to Mr. Milan Mora, Program Manager and Chief of the Water Resources Branch for the Jacksonville District, responsible for all navigational and coastal storm risk projects within das Jacksonville District's area of operation. The Jacksonville Coastal Program is the largest in the nation, and Mr. Mora executes this substantial mission with a keen focus on Army values and the project management business process. He develops strong relationships with federal and local government from the governor to the head of local and federal agencies, to small local municipalities. Mr. Moore consistently de demonstrates the ability to lead teams and team members to achieve excellence and successful mission accomplishment. Mr. Moore's professionalism, dedication, reflect great credit on him, the Jacksonville District, the South Atlantic Division, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Little Chief, I would just add to that, if you know anything about water management in South Florida, it's a full contact sport. Indeed. <laughs> Mr. Moore, the floor is yours. Thank you. I am so blessed to be standing here to receive the Civilian of the Year Award. 
I stand here representing the 1,000 plus and counting uh, Jacksonville District workforce with a special emphasis to, the, to my team, the Coastal Navigation Group in Jacksonville. Not one person can be civilian of the year. We all know that it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes a village to survey, design, award, and manage our program. And it is through everybody's hard work from Jacksonville to Atlanta to here in DC that we're able to maintain our nation's waterways and our nation's coastline. Thanks to my great team of project managers, operations managers, my coastal business line manager, my two section chief, the SAD and headquarter folks that I talk to on a daily basis to manage our program, my leadership sitting over here who took the time to nominate me for this great achievement. My parents for taking the, the risks in life and leaving a communist country in Nicaragua, migrating to this great nation with all the great things that happens when you migrate to a new nation. My two kids, Milan and Diego, definitely my pride and joy. And lastly, my rock, my inspiration, the love of my life, Martha Sequeira, who's also a Corps of Engineers employee in the contracting division. Ooh, uh. <laughs> and sir, I thank you for the recognition of the great work that the Jacksonville District is doing in Florida, Georgia, Puerto Rico, and the USVI. I cannot, get, I cannot wait to get back to Jacksonville and continue to, the hard work to deliver the mission that you have entrusted on us and this great nation of ours. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, if we give one more round of applause for Mr. Moore and all our awardees today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please welcome Lieutenant General Spellman. So I, I think everyone can see just a sampling of the talent that we have across this enterprise. Mr. Mora, just incredible work. I, I, just record programs right now in the Everglades, certainly in Puerto Rico, which we're going to go back down with the White House here in a couple of weeks to recognize some folks. So, so thank you. It's great to see the Fargo-Moorhead PDT. I've been up there with you a couple of times. We're still going to get it at EGM up in uh, Fargo because I want, I want all the district commanders leaders to see that great work that's uh, really coming out of the ground up there. So many thanks to that. And, and really, really proud of all of you. I'll just call it also Far East District and Pacific Ocean Division who have made great gains on our CSOMs and our Occupational Health and Safety Program. Really, really well done. I um, We finished a little bit early. Chief has done a magnificent job with time management. So if everyone, please stay a little while. I know they've got some refreshments in the back room they're going to pull out, but just take the extra moment and say thank you to these great teammates of ours. I have one more thank you I want to do. Jen, come on up here. And how long have you been with the Corps of Engineers? It'll be one year at the end of this month. One year at the end of this month. So you probably have, don't have a coin rack at this time in your career. Anyone present you any coins yet? Any? No? Okay, well, this is going to be your first. The only term of Sorry. accepting this is this stays front and center on your coin rack. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Engineer and Army song.
gentlemen this concludes today's ceremony thank you for joining us army strong building strong essay yeah. please please join us in the back for refreshments <laughs>